Hello friends, welcome back to this tutorial. Our next topic is NFA to DFA conversion. One thing which I would like to tell you about Finite Automata is Finite Automata accept only regular languages. Regular language is a type of language, right? And Finite Automata accept only regular languages. For each automata, we have a language associated with it. And that language is the set of a string which is accepted by that automata. Suppose we have two automatas M1 and M2 and their language is LM1 and LM2 respectively. Then these two automata would be equal equivalent if their language is same which means LM1 equals to LM2. It means both accept same set of strings. NFA and DFA both have same part. It means if a language is accepted by a NFA, then the same language can be accepted by a DFA. It means if we have a NFA, we can construct a DFA equivalent to that NFA. Now, NFA to DFA conversion. It is also known as subset construction. Now, how we do it? It includes few steps. First step is to take the initial state of NFA. Initial state of NFA would be the initial state of DFA. Now find the transition of this initial state for all possible input symbols, right? One thing you must remember when you apply any input symbol to a state of NFA, the output would be a set of possible states, right? Now, when you apply any input symbol to this initial state of NFA, you will get a set of possible states, right? And then make this possible, st uh, then make this set of possible state as a single state of a DFA, right? So what you have to do, whatever you set you get after applying an input symbol on a state, you have to make that set a single state of a DFA. Next is, then when you get new states after applying input symbol, find the transition of these new states in the same way. And repeat this procedure until there are no more new states, right? So, it would be more clear when we convert this NFA into TFA. Here we have an NFA, which has three states. Q0, Q1 and Q2. Its transitions are also mentioned here. Uh, it is shown in this graph that it has only two input symbols 0 and 1. Right? Now what I have told you earlier take initial state as it is. So Q0 would be the initial state of TFA. Now find its transition. For all possible input symbols. So when you apply 0 to Q0, the output would be a Q0, Q1. Right? When you apply 0 to Q0, output would be a Q0, Q1. Then make it a single state of DFA. Now here it is a this whole set is a single state of DFA. And the, we uh, will label this transition with input symbol 0. Because in NFA, we got this set after applying the input symbol 0. So here label it with 0. Now find the transition for input symbol 1. When you apply 1 to initial state the output would be q0 it means machine would remain in same state when we apply 1 right now we have got a new state that is a set q0 q1 now we have to find its transition for all possible input symbols first of all find it for input symbol 0 delta set Q0, Q1 for input symbol 0, right? How do we find 
apply this input symbol individually to each state of the set that would be delta q00 union delta q10 right it is a union symbol delta q0 would be set q0 q1 and when you apply 0 to q1 there is no transition it would be q0 q1 so when you apply 0 it will remain in same state q0 q1 now for the input symbol 1 delta q0 q1 for input symbol 1 first of all apply 1 to initial state q0 then apply 1 to any next uh, second state of this is set q1 so it would be delta q01 union delta q11 right for q1 we have only uh, for one there is one transition from state q0 that is only to q0 so it would be q0 and uh, you can see when we apply 1 to q1 the next state would be q2 it is on there is only one state and their union would be q0 q2 q0 q2 so when we apply one here we will get the next state q0 q2 right now find the transition of this new state q0 q2 for input symbol 0 and 1 apply 0 individually to each state of the set q0 and q2 when you apply 0 to q0 the result would be a set q0 q1 when you apply q2 0 to q2 the result would be 5 set because there is no transition for input symbol 0 from state q2 so it would be q0 and q1 it means when you apply 0 it will jump to state q0 q1 now we have to find its uh, transition for input symbol 1 again same manner q0 q2 apply one individually to each state of the set delta q0 1 and union delta q2 1 when you apply 1 to q0 it will remain in state q0 and when you apply 1 to q2 there is no transition so it will result in set having only q0 so when we apply 1 it will jump to q0 now we have to find out the final state of this DFA now look at here NFA has a final state q2 now check which state of DFA contains the final state of NFA if any state of DFA contains the final state of if any state of DFA contains final state of NFA then make make that state of uh, DFA as a final state here this state contains the final state of NFA uh, so we will make it the final state of DFA so this DFA is equivalent to this NFA so which string is accepted by this NFA the same string will be accepted by this DFA which string is rejected by this NFA the same string will be rejected by this DFA thank you very much